Welcome to the next session in my series on how to fly an FPV multirotor. We've been working on flips and rolls, and I'm going to show you a, a, a little bit more about that today. I'm going to give you a little tip or trick, and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a move to practice. The tip or trick that I want to show you is that, you know, we think of flips and rolls. Flips go forward on the pitch axis, and rolls go around on the roll axis, right? And my joystick is a little flaky. I don't know, sometimes my Tyrannus, I may have a bad USB cable. So bear with me if it's a little flaky. What I want to show you is that you can push the joystick in any direction. And as long as you hold it there for a full 360, the copter will come back to where it was. Okay. Didn't have quite enough alt altitude there. We'll get some good altitude. And we'll go up and to the right. We'll go up and to the left. It just doesn't matter. You just hold it there, and the copter will come back to where it was. Oh, well, well, let's see if it comes back before I crash. It did, it did, it did. Okay. So that's the first thing I want you to practice is just play with doing some moves using maybe up and to the right or up and to the left, back and to the left. Any angle you feel like, do it fast, or if you like, do it slow. Doesn't really matter. As long as you hold it for one full rotation, the copter will come back to level. Okay? And you can also start to work that into your into your moves like we did in the last video, where you're in a turn, and instead of doing a flip or a roll, maybe see I'm turning to the left and forward just a little, and maybe I'd like to do a, a flip along that axis, the front and to the left axis, or the back into the right axis so instead of so here's a regular just a straight flip oh a double flip and here's front and to the right so it, it can mix it up a little bit oh man I'm having serious dropouts so mix that up a little bit playing with flips and rolls up and to the left down to the right just do all of those there's no reason to restrict yourself just to straight up straight down straight left straight right okay Practice some of those, and then come back, and I'll show you the uh, the stunt we're going to practice this week. Session. This episode. Why do I keep saying this week? Because I've been watching television my whole life. Ah, eh, well. So here's the move we're going to practice in this session. It's going to be a forward somersault over an object. I'm going to use this hut as an example. We're going to fly toward the object. And somersault over it. I didn't do it. Uh, I, I ended that a little early. So let me try again, see if I can give you a good example. I ended up looking at the sky. Nope, still. So you can see I'm taking advantage of the principle that if you're looking at the sky, you're probably safe to throttle up. I'm finishing the move a little early, and I'm already throttling up, which is saving me from hitting the ground. There we go, that was better. And what I'm trying to do is, as I, as I uh, somersault over it, I'm trying to keep it in the camera's view it makes a very nice move. I think I had a joystick drop out there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to... I'm going to blame a joystick drop out. <laughs> Let's try it again. I may have hit the ground on that one. So let's, let's break this move down. You're going to approach the obstacle low to the ground. As you approach it, you may want to pitch back a little to lose speed, but don't lose all your speed, because if you lose all your speed, you'll just pop up and come straight down. You won't pass over it. But if you're going very fast, it can be very hard to finish the move before you hit the ground. The, the faster you're moving, the less vertical velocity you will get when you punch the throttle. So you're going to approach it low. As you get close to it, you're going to give throttle to pass over it, and you're going to cut the throttle to drop on the other side. So that's, that's, that's how you can start practicing the move. Just approach it. Man, my joystick is giving me a lot of trouble. I don't know why it's dropping out today. Let's try it again. I'll try to get this episode out. You're going to approach it low. As you get close, you're going to give some throttle to pass over it, and just sort of hop over it. Okay? Once you get start to feel comfortable with that, notice that if I'm going faster, I get I tend to speed up going towards it, and I'm more likely to crash into it. 
So the faster I'm going, oh, I barely passed over at that time and I was going super fast. Do you see what I mean? So if you're approaching it slower, the slower you're going, the more vertical you will get out of that throttle punch because your motors are pointed toward the ground more instead of pointed forward. So you want to sort of balance your speed here. You want to have a little speed so you pass over it, but you don't want to have so much speed that you're pitched so far forward that you tend to crash into it or, or going super fast by the time you pass over it and you crash. Okay? So just practice some gentle hops over it. If you're going too fast as you approach it, just pitch back a little to slow down. Pitch back a little to slow down and pop up with the throttle. And then the next thing to do is to pitch forward to keep it in your camera view. Okay, I didn't do I didn't do that one quite right. I just let it go ahead and let it crash though, rather than trying to save it. Let's try if we can get another good example. Now you'll notice I hit the ground there. And the next thing you're going to need to work on is, for the first half of the move, you're going to do the, the flip relatively slow to keep it keep the uh, hut in view. And then you're going to go to full deflection to finish the move once you get past about 90 degrees pitch forward. Because you don't want to be, you got to finish it before you hit the ground, right? So as I come at it, I'm going to punch up, pitch forward, lower the throttle lower the throttle as you gain that vertical velocity and then finish the move as you start to pass over. Punch up and then throttle up as you as you start to come around and your motors are pointing down again. Start to preemptively throttle up to avoid crashing into the ground if you've mistimed it. So punch, vital, finish the move and throttle up to, fit, to get out of it. Approach it low not too fast, punch the throttle to get vertical, and over it. And if you wa watch my stick, you'll see I'm doing the first half a little slowly, and then finishing by going to full deflection. Now ideally, what you'll do is you'll finish pitch forward just a little bit and keep going. So when you first start the move, you're going to tend to kind of finish it like this, where you're looking at the sky or maybe your level and you're just trying to get the motors back up again before you crash. But ideally, let me see if I can give you a good one. Ideally, you're gonna finish it and just come right out of it smoothly without without racing the motors to, you know, and just continue along your merry way. So that's, I still am getting used to this copter and I, you know, I'm still practicing this move. I'm a little better with it in real life on my copter, but that was a pretty decent one. So that's what you can practice. Somersaulting over an object. That was a tricky one. Almost hit the ground there. You can practice it with that hut, or you can also do it with these gates. Again, I'm finishing the, I'm finishing a lot of these early. I'm not I'm not finishing the rotation. And that's a bad so I'm setting a bad example for you, but I'm doing the best I can here with this with this copter. Alright, so that's the move I want you to practice. Okay, have fun with that, and I'll see you next time.